Shout out to Bay, aka eBay, because eBay is Bay for Jordans, Nikes, any number of things. That's right. Also, Ultra Boost. So I picked up the Adidas Ultra Boost DNA 5.0 from eBay, and I actually only paid $90. Originally listed for 100, that's why they went through the authentication process. So as you can see, the eBay tag is attached and here we have it, one comfortable pair of shoes. We all know the Ultra Boost itself has been around since 2015, so it's not new, but it's also gone through some changes. More so lifestyle accepted than anything else, but it's definitely a pair runners enjoy too. Honestly, we have Kanye West to thank for that. So thank you, Kanye West. Now this is the core black colorway, but I honestly think of it as Oreo. So you have a prime knit upper, but it's no regular prime knit. The yarn itself is 50% Parlay Ocean Plastic and 50% Recycled Polyester. If you see prime blue on the insole of an Adidas pair, you know it's part of the Parlay Ocean Plastic initiative to be more sustainable, and I commend Adidas for that. In addition to the continental outsole stretched over the boost material itself, you have the torsion system. And that's good for me because I have fallen arches and the torsion bar actually acts as a bridge. It allows your foot to rotate independently as you walk. Okay, so the big test today is the Adidas Ultra Boost DNA 5.0 more comfortable than the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Compact. Soft prime knit uppers for each sneaker. Of course, full length boost to really give you that comfort, but will one edge out the other? That's really what we're here to see today. Hmm, which one will it be? Okay, so we're here at this moment. Is this now the most comfortable sneaker that I own in my collection? As you know, the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Compact held that title, but did it get knocked out at number one? All right, they are on feet and and they are they are beyond comfortable. Like I thought the 700 V1 was comfortable. I thought the 350 V2 Compact was comfortable, but but this one here, you, you guys were not lying. So I went up to a six and a half. Now we know in terms of Adidas, that's literally like a one for one women, seven and a half or six and a half. The traditional conversion is one and a half down to a men's, which would have been a six. And because the knit provides a lot of room, uh, I could have gone down, I think to a six, but a six and a half is very, very comfortable. Okay. I may not take these off now. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young Take What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video on Talks with TJ and things are definitely more balanced now in the collection in terms of not only branding but also comfort. I can't lie, I, I probably shop for comfort a little bit more these days. I don't know if it's the age in me, I am getting old, but I really like pairs to be comfortable and we know that we have those options with a number of different brands. It doesn't matter if it's New Balance, it can be Nike, it can be Adidas, Yeezy, I don't really know if that's the case with Jordan, unless you wanna get like an MA2, if you wanna get one of those, then yes, absolutely you can be comfortable jordan delta 2 some of their lifestyle models are comfortable otherwise if you want to talk like retros being comfortable you're going to need to get a three a five and a 13 and that's kind of where i stop in terms of it being like super ultra comfortable but for the ultra boost i already told the story hey i did not give it a chance beyond the 2.0 that i tried on it was just super uncomfortable for my foot i have fallen arches so in, in terms of the support things could work things could not work and i kind of wrote it off as soon as i tried it on in store and it was the 2.0 and triple white and i you know time has passed okay i've learned some things and i thought all right the ultra boost dna 5.0 it's a thing now tj give it a shot which i was able to try it on in stores last week in Foot Locker, and even though that size was bigger it fit comfortably and i kind of did that after the fact that i ordered this which was you know a little bit backwards but we're gonna ignore that because this arrived from ebay as you guys saw in the unboxing and why did it have the ebay authentication because it was originally listed for 
$100 and certain brands like Adidas or Nike, if you have them listed for $100, but even though I only had to pay 90, um, it can still very much so go through the authentication process if that person checked that little box option, which they did. So went through the authentication process. I wasn't really concerned about that. I'll be honest, but I have the Ultra Boost uh, DNA 5.0. It's considered core black, but I like to think of it as Oreo and I'm a super big fan of Oreo cookies. So have this and the, the test, right? The test is this more comfortable than the V2 compact because I thought the MA2 was comfortable. I thought the regular 350 V2 was comfortable. I absolutely think the 700s are comfortable V1 and V2. I still think V1 is better than V2 in terms of comfort. And I, everyone said, you know, no TJ, listen, the ultra boost will change your mind on the compact. Before we get to the results, let's at least just see how I choose to style this very simple black and white sneaker. Yes, it's 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 super simple. I mean, like it's a contrast black and white pair. You can rock in a number of ways. The most important thing is it's comfortable and it will be worn a lot. As I said, three simple looks for a simple black and white Adidas Ultra Boost sneaker on the far left, keeping it very relaxed. So I'm wearing woven Adidas shorts. They come above the knee, perfect for summer, and the Three Stripe Life Adidas Graphic Crew Net. Now in the middle, I'm actually wearing some brand new pieces from American Eagle. So you have the super distressed denim shorts in black. Love these for summer. I didn't own a pair of black shorts. And then the crop tank in the light gray colorway. And finally, the Fear of God Essentials coach's jacket in iron. You guys know I love my distressed denim. Doesn't matter this season. So wearing a light wash, super distressed denim from American Eagle, my lilac blonde long sleeve crop top in black, and then my Adidas 2015 finals hat for the Warriors. That's right. I'm still going strong for my team. Okay, so the verdict is by like a hair, like, like a fine minuscule hair the ultra boost dna 5.0 is actually just a tad bit more comfortable than the 350 v2 compact and i must say i didn't expect that like i really thought that the compact would continue to hold that title as the most comfortable sneaker in my collection like hands down above everything else no, that's not the case now. And I don't know if I've now opened a dangerous door because I feel as if I might have of wanting more of these. Now I feel like I need triple white. Now I feel like I need some other colors. I told you guys I still want the, the, the pride pair. I'd even settle for getting this in a men's seven just to be able to rock it in that particular colorway. It's very similar to core black, but it does have the other very colorful uh, elements worked into different parts of the sneaker. I think I may have like opened a very bad door for myself of wanting more of these. So stay tuned because I, I really do see myself buying more, but it's comfortable and I like the style of it. You guys know athleisure is really my go-to. So me having what we consider trainers or running sneakers, I rock those a lot just casually for lifestyle. But then also, I don't know, I could possibly get this to try to run in one day. Not sure. Right now I'm still running in the Curry Go Flow and I really like that pair. So I could maybe, you know, add these in one day, but not right now. They are an amazing pair though for me to work into rotation. So I fully intend to do that. Uh, go ahead and comment below. What's the most comfortable sneaker you own right now? in your closet today or in your collection. And if you don't have the DNA 5.0, uh, if it goes on sale, or you're able to find a really good deal. Do you intend to maybe try them out? I am curious. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.